Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to celebrate an incredible investment in Canadian farmers for the benefit of all Canadians. Recently, Protein Industries Canada, or PIC, one of the five innovation superclusters sponsored by the Government of Canada and a consortium of private sector companies, announced a $19 million investment deal that will help produce, or pardon me, reduce carbon emissions and improve environmental sustainability all through the commercialization of Solios, a new micronutrient fertilizer. If you haven't heard of it before, Solios is an environmentally friendly fertilizer that's created from the upcy upcycling of pea, lentil, and oat hulls. It's sustainable, non-polluting, and can help increase crop yields. It's an innovative new product, and according to Protein Industries Canada, initial field trials led to improved protein content and soil health, increased returns for farmers, and reduced environmental damage. Companies who are part of this investment include AGT Food and Ingredients Inc., Lucent Biosenses, Biosciences, New Wave Research, Intent, and Eberhardt Ag Solutions. These are private sector companies, both large and small, working together with a federal supercluster to make good things happen for Canadians. And as a result of this investment, a new manufacturing plant will be built in Rosetown, Saskatchewan. When completed, this facility will produce up to 6,500 tons per year of micro-nutritional fertilizer. And we create, we'll create 25 new jobs for the community. That's incredible. Mr. Speaker, Speaker this is a great news for our agri agricultural sector. It's an important investment in our farmers and in the people of Saskatchewan and of Western Canada. At a time when food security is top of mind for all Canadians and when supply chains are being threatened, we need to do everything we can to support our agricultural sector here at home. This investment does exactly that. And I wish Protein Industries Canada and its industry and academic partners every success as they embark, embark on this and many, many more new innovative solutions. And I encourage innovation, science, and economic development to continue to support PIC's continued involvement and progress. I hope Ag Canada and Climate, Climate Change Canada take stock and promote this innovation with great pride. Thank you.